Hey beautiful people, uh, welcome back. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Laura Couture and today I'm going to show you how to do um, um, surgical bonnets using African print and no elastic band. So without further ado, let's begin. So for today's tutorial, you will need your zigzag scissors, your tape measure, your guide, and your seam strip, that's the optional, both of them, your chalk, pin, uh, till, um, scissors is optional your African prints and your lining okay so the square footage of this is a uh, 14 inch I'm not sure if that's the right math them I'm supposed to use but it's 14 by 14 <laughs> so I start by fold it in half and I'll fold it again just like so making a triangle shape And I'm measuring seven inch. Uh, that's the size of my head. Um, uh, I've got medium to large size head, so I recommend if you have a small one to go five or six. So the fabric and the lining um, on top of each other, so I don't have to cut twice. This I look it's supposed to have a beautiful round shape but my own look like an oval uh, and look oval. I don't know what happened but uh just minor. Okay, so I mark two inch and I'm gonna get uh, the bottom part um by the way someone say that i'm trying to hide my accent i'm not trying to hide my accent um uh, my african accent lord have mercy why will i try to pretend not to be african <laughs> obviously the color of my hands jesus christ the lord uh, anywho so i'm just adding some um at the bottom part um i'm just not comfortable to speak and just like camera shy as you can see and i'm not showing my face so obviously i'm a bit camera shy and uh also english is my second language so pair with me please i don't want to speak but you guys force me to speak and when i speak and i hear complain about the way i speak it's jesus christ we can't make everybody happy just you guys are something else <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to sew all around it using a uh, gathering. So uh, once you sew, you need to make sure to change um, the measurement, put it into the maximum and make it loose as much as you can. I'm sorry I'm not using the right thing because I don't know how, to call it, how it's called. And then I'm sewing all around it. And as you can see, my sewing machine is just going crazy and I have to catch um, get hold of what's happening always look at the back and make sure that everything is the way you want because you know the sewing machine sometimes love to to do little surprises all right so this is how it looks now and uh, i'm gonna pull the guard the gather and i'm gonna pull one of the stream it's like so Pull, pull, pull. Uh, ide ideally, you're supposed to make two of those, but um, you know me, I, I do the least that I can. So one is okay, and then if I break it, I have to start all over again. So be aware. <laughs> so yeah, um, some of you are complaining that I was fast forward as well. So I was wondering if you want me to show you lifetime the way i'm doing it right now because i don't want to bore some of you oh yeah happy if i fast forward you let me know in the comments how you want it to be uh why, why are you watching the video are you watching for entertainment purposes only oh yeah watching uh so that you can uh, 
get uh, some knowledge and understanding and how you had to apply a project. I love to sew, I find it so soothing and uh, ah, that's said the hat is done. Thank you for watching. This is <laughs> I'm joking, it's not finished. It's a buffini. Alright, so this is my board. Um I don't know how you say that. But it's two meter long. It doesn't have to be two meter long, it can be one meter or half of that. And I kept that off camera because the, my working space is too small for my camera. And the width is uh, two centimeter. Uh, the total length um, is three. Um, three inch or six inch, however you want to say it. And then I fold a half inch. Um, so I had some maybe issue at the end. I didn't really know how to make it look nice and neat and of course it's off camera whoever want to gift me a monitor is more than welcome because i only see the end footage once everything is done is in the camera so um yes i don't have a monitor again i need to get one but at least you don't see my head some of my videos you can see my big head which is not cool as well so, yeah Alright, so I um I found um half half I put a point in the halfway point of my bow. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know how to explain. I'm so sorry. Pair with me, please pair with me. So that's the other half. So you see the pink dots that I put in there? I make sure you do that halfway point and you put it together and put a pin. So I put um uh, the liney side i saw the liney side on first this is how i do it i find it much easier to do it that way but it's up to you you can um there's no right or wrong technique this is how i do it this is how i find it the easiest for me to do but you can do front first and back second but i do back first because um i find it's easier for me and pin is your best friend don't be afraid um i know it can be found everywhere and is hazard but pin is your friend you will cut your time it look like it's extra time but it isn't it isn't you will uh you help you the few times that i don't use it i always regret not to have used it and i've been sewing for many years now All right. When you do that, make sure that um, that the fabric doesn't pull too much, so I leave extra room inside. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just express how I feel. I just don't know how to say that. Oh my god. Um. But yeah, make sure that um, the board doesn't pull too much. So make sure you leave extra room inside. If if you understand what I'm saying, make sure to give me a thumbs up because oh, it's something else. Okay, so um, uh, make sure to, when you start sewing again, you readjust all your um, uh, your the sewing machine. Um. <laughs> And then you follow the line um, half inch. All right, this design is very forgiving. So if you're not really sure on how you sew stuff in general, it's okay. Don't stress yourself. Um, it's going to end up looking fine because um, as you can see, it's a little bit messy and the end result is great so don't worry too much and also practice my perfect and uh, this is the um, third one i've done before starting the um the video and um, obviously i get the cheese of it again practice my perfect 
practice my perfect don't just look at a video and figure out you can do uh, you don't understand just you need to do it and figure it by yourself and uh, yeah and that's really really nice as a gift as well uh, once I start, I couldn't stop. I wanted to make like 10 or 20 of them and give it to my friends. It's a great gift. Uh, I did it for Christmas gift, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of kids, um, the, the strings as you go along. So you can see what you're doing. Hmm. all right the back is done and then i'm just gonna flip over and uh so the front again pins are my best friends and be careful not to um hurt yourself when you use the pin Yeah, so I saw all around it. Um, uh, some of the footage went missing. Um, I need a, a new camera. I, I do that on my phone. I record on my phone using my iPhone. And um, it's playing with me a lot. I don't know if it's trying to tell me to get a new phone or what. But I need a new camera for sure. Alright, so... You keep on sewing all the way around it. It's only one line. It's one line that go all around it. All right, and that's the end of the um, of the video. Uh, <laughs> I explained the m best of my ability. <laughs> I think the, the the video is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, if you have any more question, uh, just let me know in. Uh, in a comment let's have a chat um i'll be more than happy to help you guys uh please sure please make sure that you still subscribe because i left uh, youtube for a couple of years three years i think or two years i don't know so it's 2000 of you when i was unsubscribed and that's done automatically from youtube So as you can see, there's a, a little piece of fabric that are coming up there. Um, you can adjust it, but I'm not going to adjust it. I'm just going to leave it like that because, again, I'm trying to do the least that I can. And this is a final look. I think it's pretty, look really nice and very professional and cute. And next week, we are going to sell a dress. And uh, this dress has been customized by me. I bought the dress. The black dress already done and i just i added uh, a touch of africana and uh, we're going to do that next week all right so thank you for watching the video till the end and uh, to pair with me with my um uh, my accent uh it's french my accent yeah uh i'm sorry but i'm not sorry um yeah so make sure to like the video if you learn something i know you learn something don't lie i know you learn one trick or two and uh, i will see you next week on tuesday 8 p.m greenwich time um shout out to you guys from nigeria you guys um uh 36 percent of you are from uh watching me from nigeria so thank you guys <laughs> and uh yeah, so it's 8 p.m. Tuesday, Greenwich time, yeah? London time, because I'm in London, no. All right, guys, so <laughs> catch up later. Bye.